Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Northwest Small Batch Brewing. This is Single Malt Sunday. So today, I got a special one, man. Uh, I special ordered this one a while back from Australia. This is uh, Morris Australian Single Malt. Um, they've been around a little while. 1859 is when they were founded. Ugh, I hate these boxes that have the little tags that you have to pull up to get the bottle out. It's like they're making it uh, a challenge to get to the bottle. Anyway, um, I don't drink this one too often because um, it's not easy to get. I had to order it and have it mailed and all that. So I only have it occasionally. But um, this one's 48% ABV. And uh, it is aged in... Uh, French and American oak barrels, and then it is finished in muscat barrels. Now muscat, not muskrat, by the way, is a uh, type of wood in Australia that they use for uh, wine. You know, I think it's a type of wine there. And anyway, we'll just leave that there. Uh, it's it's um, sort of, in my opinion, a sherry-like um, kind of flavor and, and taste, but it is lighter, like not as, as, uh, strong, uh, as, as like a sherry. Uh, they use local barley, uh, so it's very a local whiskey. Pretty dark color for something that's, um, maybe not, you know, I'm assuming they don't put any coloring in it, so that's nice. There's not really an age statement as far as I know. Um, and I don't know if they have any laws in Australia that dictate, you know, that the whiskey has to be aged for a period of time. Um, so yeah, that I don't know. At any rate, uh, so I would say it smells, so it definitely smells a bit like, um, you know, a sherry cask finished whiskey, but maybe more on the Chardonnay side, like it's a, more of a wine uh, but not too much and you can definitely get the typical dried fruits and, uh, and, and dates you'd normally get from sherry, but just a, a, a lighter, like a lighter touch to it. Now I'll say, oh, so good. So good. Um, for 48%, it's super gentle. Um, it has a really long finish. Like it just lingers. This fruit um, just lingers like fresh fruit on your palate. And uh, definitely honey. Sweet. It's, it's a rather sweet whiskey, of course, for a single malt. Uh, vanilla. I'd say you get more dried fruit on the, on the nose and then it turns into a lot of fresh fruit on the palate. Um, I don't get a lot of the uh, typical oak notes. I mean, you definitely get vanilla, but you're not getting a lot of like the, the baking spices and such. Looks like my neighbor's coming up to the door, so I may have to finish this up pretty quickly here. We'll see. But anyway, if you can get your hands on this, I highly recommend it. It is a fantastic whiskey and uh, definitely worth it uh, for the investment. Uh, anyway, I'll be back in another week with another whiskey. And uh, until then, sláinte.